for giving value to the smartest advisors. Thank you. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, قبلك من المرسلين إلا إنهم 
لا يأكلون الطعام ويمشون في الأسباق وجعلنا بعضكم لبعض فتنة أتصبرون وكان ربك بصيرا وقال تعالى والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر وقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم المؤمن الذي يخالط الناس يخالط الناس لم يقل الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم يخالط المسلمين والمؤمنين يخالط الناس ويصبر على أذاهم خير من المؤمن الذي لا يخالط الناس ولا يصبر على أذاهم رواه الطرحين Respected brothers and sisters in Islam, we are going to start an important topic today. And that topic is importance of engagement of Muslims in the community. It has many, many aspects. First of all, we have to understand what is the description of a community? According to the Holy Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When we look into the word community, we have al-mujtama'ul insani وَالْمُجْتَمَعُ الْإِسْلَامِ وَالْمُجْتَمَعُ الْعَائِلِ We have three levels. Why? Because Islam is founded on concept of oneness. One universal God. One universal humanity. And one universal divine system of religion which was conveyed by all the prophets and messengers. We all know Islam did not start with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He is the last and final messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the first one was Adam alayhi salam. And the five greatest prophets and messengers in Islam, according to surah number 42, verse number 13, are Nuh alayhi salam, Ibrahim alayhi salam, Musa alayhi salam, Isa alayhi salam, and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now, let us look into the very important aspects of the Holy Quran. First one is the first line of Surah Al-Fatiha, the opening chapter of the Holy Quran. There Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describing himself, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Al-Alameen. Meaning he is the Lord of the entire universe. And a person who believes in the Lord of the entire universe cannot neglect his or her duties towards the universe. Then you go to the last words of the Holy Quran. And look at the connection between the first words and the last words. 
min al jinnati wal nas surah number 114 and last words of that where the quran comes to an end and in the last words we have the last word an nas it doesn't say al mu'minin or al muslimin it doesn't refer to any community other than the human kind so any part of this community of humanity and you can go on and on and on looking into surah number 21 surah number 23 the word which is used umma <coughs> what is umma it is the human kind connected to the first woman eve we muslims only limited the use of ummah to the muslim community no muslim community is ummatul istijaba they are the group of people who have accepted the message of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the rest of the humanity is ummatul da'wah potential believers to reach out to them to share with them the beauties of the messages of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the duty of the Ummatul Sijada, Muslims, believers. Then come to the verse number 143 of Surah number 2, Surah Al-Baqarah. وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَاكُمْ أُمَّةً وَسَطًا See, another description. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addressing the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Ummatul Istijaha, those who have accepted the divine message that the first number one quality, the number one requirement of the group of the people who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to be balanced. Ummatan wasata. A group of the people who follow the middle course who are not allowed to become fanatics and extremists, who have the equal responsibility in creating the just balance between their material and spiritual aspects of life. <coughs> then move forward. We'll come to the detail later. The headlines we have to read first. We go to Surah Al Imran, Surah number 3, verse number 104. <coughs> what part of the community this verse is speaking about? You go between 104 and 110, you come to know. That the basic responsibility is to establish a community that is justly balanced. Then you have to go to three levels. You see, the first level is blood relatives. So, Ya Yuhaladina Manu Al Fusabun wa Ali Kumnawa. In order to prepare yourself and your family <coughs> to become the part of this entire humankind, a community which is connected to the first couple in general and to 
believe in particular, you have to start to believe that every single charity has to start within yourself and your family. So Surah number 6, he says, verse number 6, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inviting the couples, married people, from among the ummatul istijabah or the believing community. Oh, you who believe. And when we say the word Amanu, it is referring to Iman. And we have to ask this question. What is Iman? And how it is different from Raib and Shak? And what destroys the Iman as a shirk and shak? We go back to the first line of Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah number 2. ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابُ لَا رَيْبَ Iman is a hundred percent certainty level. Every believer has to achieve. Otherwise, if you have doubt, the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is free from all doubts. Even the shadow of doubt cannot be allowed. See? Two things destroy the iman and the faith of a person is shirk and shak. Shirk surah number 4, 116 is the verse number. In Allah, la yaghfiru wa yushraka bihi wa yaghfiru ma duna dhalika liman yasha. Associating partners in any shape, way or form. If a person does not repent before the death, that is one sin which will not be forgiven. And iman and doubt, a state of certainty and a state of doubt cannot be combined. They are opposites. So you have to reach that level. And reaching that level means if Allah says, كَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَاكُمْ أُمَّةً وَصَطًا Our Iman is not complete. If we don't to move away from extremism and fanaticism, if we do not establish the just balance in our day-to-day -day life, in all aspects of our day-to-day -day life, especially the material and spiritual, So I was going to speak about on a local level, on a personal level, on a family level. Before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is speaking about Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat lin nas in verse number 110, in verse number 104 he says What does he say? وَاَعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبِّ اللَّهِ جَمِعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا وَالْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ إِذْ كُنْتُمْ أَعْدَاءً فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ فَأَصْبَحْتُمْ بِنِعْمَتِهِ إِخْوَانًا وَكُنْتُمْ عَلَى شَفَى حُفْرَةٍ مِّنَ النَّارِ فَأَنْقَذَكُمْ مِّنْهَا كَذَلِكَ يُبَيِّنُ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ آيَاتِهِ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَهْتَدُونَ That is 103, 104, وَلْتَكُمْ مِنْكُمْ أُمَّةٌ يَدْعُونَ إِلَى الْخَيْرِ وَيَأْمُرُونَ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَيَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ وَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ Here, there is no mention of the humanity. Here, it is the level, which is the level of the believers and the Muslims. That as a Muslim, you have to get hold of the whole Quran. What does Allah? What is the role of Allah according to Prophet Muhammad? 
Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam al Quran the holy Quran is the strong rope of Allah subhanahu wa taala now why the example of rope meaning one end of the rope has to be in your hand and the other end is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so you create that connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because the Quran is nothing but the glorious words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bringing the light and guidance to us for every single aspect of our day to day life so we have to start within ourselves فَاقِدُ الشَّيْءِ لَا يُعْطِي If I don't have anything, how can I give it to somebody else? That is why to become a Muslim has three dimensions. Number one, peace within. You have to be 100% satisfied within your own self that this is the right system for me. I won't reach that conclusion unless you understand the Holy Quran. You understand the explanation of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in his words and in his actions of the Holy Quran. You understand the seerah, the biography of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He didn't work in the community of the believers. His job started in a community of the pagans, Mushrikeen, people who did not believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <coughs> Those who has no touch of the realities and the facts of the believing system, they had 360 idols inside the Kaaba, the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. From there he started. And within a short period of time, the message not only, not only spread through the entire Arabia, they all converted, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the surah number 110, إِذَا جَاءَ نَسْرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْحِ وَرَأَيْتَ النَّاسَ يَدْخُلُونَ فِي لِينِ اللَّهِ أَخْوَاجَا People who are entering Islam in multitude. Why? Because the Prophet did not establish a ghetto community. He told the entire humankind that we are one community. Al Khalqu Allah. The entire creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the family of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's the larger community of the entire humankind. They are the family of Allah. Then what is your role? He further described Khayrun nasi man yanfa'un nas The best of the humankind are the most beneficial of the humankind. So for a Muslim, it's impossible to be a part of a ghetto mentality. Look into the life, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described. It's a test, surah number 67, verse number 2. <coughs> and everlasting life is preparation in this life, this short period of time which is given to us. So in order to be successful there, we have to understand what is our status in this world. What are my duties and responsibilities? We are fulfilling our duties to 
towards our wife and children for the most part, you know, many of us even neglecting those duties. Why is not that? Yeah. The only dua Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaching Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the Holy Quran as regard to himself is not connected to material aspects of life. <coughs> it's not connected to wealth or any other thing. He was told in Surah number 20, verse number 114, وَقَالْ And say, <coughs> Rabbi zidni ilma. Oh my Lord, increase me in knowledge. Because knowledge is the key. Knowledge is the key. We are living in a contemporary period where everywhere in the world we see nothing but injustice. <coughs> Violation of human rights. Genocides. Destruction of life. All that. Because we Muslims have failed to share those beauties which teach the humanity how to live together despite believing in all the other kind of religions and all the other kind of systems. Despite doing that, you will be able to see the beauty in diversity. That diversity gave us the diverse role we have to play within our own family, within our own community, with the community of the believer and with the rest of the humanity, bringing the humanity together in every aspect of that. Community doesn't mean group of people. No. Group of people is a jamaah. Community is, they have particular goals that tie them together. So we have three levels, brothers and sisters in Islam. We will continue to develop. Let me conclude the time is up. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the believer who does, who does mix with the humanity, with the people, and shows the patience and perseverance on their annoyance and harm is better believer than the one who does not mix with the rest of the humanity and does not show the patiently persevering status. He is not the real believer. So inshallah, in coming weeks we continue to learn about how to become the kind of believer who is the member of the human society. Let us pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide each and every one of us to fulfill our responsibility in establishing a relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by sharing his message with the rest of the humanity. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant, grant his speedy recovery to all sick people and his forgiveness to all those who have passed away. May Allah solve all the contemporary problems of the entire humanity. May Allah accept our dua. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfiru dhali wa lakum wa lisaayiril muslimina fa astaghfiru inna hu huwa al rahim. الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا كما أمر وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يرغب لمن جحد به وكفر وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبده ورسوله سيد الخلائق والبشر قال الله تبارك وتعالى إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد 
وعلى ال محمد بعدد من صلى وصام وصل على محمد وعلى ال محمد بعدد من قعد وقام وصل على جميع الانبياء والمرسلين والصحابه اجمعين والتابعين والدعوه التابعين والسلف الصالحين واولياء الكاملين وعظماء الفاسقين الى يوم الدين رضوان الله تعالى عليهم اجمعين اللهم اعز الاسلام والمسلمين اللهم اجعلنا من الذين يستمعون القول فيتبعون احسنه اللهم وحد كلمة المسلمين اللهم ألف بين قلوب المؤمنين اللهم اغفر لجميع المؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك سميع قريب مجيب الدعوات برحمتك يا رحم الرحمين عباد الله رحمة الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان ويتاهي للقربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والباطل يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله يذكركم فادعوه يستجب لكم ولا ذكر الله تعالى أعلى وأولى وأعز وأجل وأهم وأتم وأعظم وأكبر والله يعلم ما تسرعون أقل الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله 